Welcome back, Jules and Gems. I am back with a, another part of this story time. If not a story time, bitch, this could be a vlog. We don't know what's gonna happen, okay? Okay, because really, look at me. Face like, ooh, what's this? Booty like bell. Oh, pimples. Oh, dry. Oh, girl, my skin look crazy, girl. But my weave look good. Um, that's so bad to say. <laughs> no, guys, so last time we talked, we left off. Um, we was talking about... Oh, what was we talking about, girl? We was talking about how me and this nigga kept getting caught almost effing everywhere. So we had decided... This is probably like mid-July, around that time. Uh, yeah, by July. We really were crazy about each other. We were at the point where, bitch, I, I just had to see him. Like, I had to see him all the time. And I was asking everybody in the club if he worked tonight. Not on no suspect shit, but just like if I hadn't heard from him that day, I would just text and be like, hey, are you working tonight? Um... If he hadn't responded by the time I got to the club, I'd probably be like, oh, now I got to cut that part out, huh? I'd be like, oh, uh, such as, <laughs> what the fuck we got to name him? I just said his name by accident. Um, James working tonight? That's his name now, James. I'd be like, oh, is James working tonight? And they'd be like, oh, uh, yeah, oh, no. If he wasn't working, I'd be like, I don't even want to be here. But if he was working, I was like, okay, let me make this money till he get here. Because when he get here, I'm going to argue with him real quick. Because this bitch should have told me he was working tonight. And if he told me he was asleep, bitch, we're going to have some problems. So, girl, yes, I just miss him all the time. And we had decided, like, we need to formally have sex. Because we've been having technically quickies because they've been in the car. Uh, like, he still eat me. You know what I'm saying? I still get him right. But it wasn't like, no, lay you down. Pro it wasn't proper. You know, look at the car. Look at this car. Like, there's not a lot of space. And I told you guys, he's 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 much uh, bigger. So, therefore, it wasn't a lot of space from him at all. Even with the seat pulled all the way the fuck back, bitch. <laughs> and all the way the fuck back, bitch. It still wasn't enough space. Okay. Get into what I'm trying to tell y'all when I'm trying to tell y'all what I'm saying. So he was like, you know what? I got a homeboy who uh, he work at a hotel. He can help, uh, hook me up. Like I know it's like late notice, but we could do like a little one day thing. See if he can get me, you know, get me a room or something like that and stuff. Um, hold on, let me text somebody. Um, he's, he was like, um, maybe we can get like a little room or something, see what he says. So the first time we were supposed to do it, I ended up flaking because the simple fact of some things that came up with my family and I didn't really have no good lie. See, uh, cause I just ain't had no good lie. So I was like, it's two last minute. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until I can like just be gone and nobody give a fuck. So let's wait like to maybe a Thursday or Friday. Because like I told you guys, my family think I'm uh, a fucking Uber. <laughs> when I get home, they think I'm Uber. So a lot of times they be needing me to do stuff. And if I can't do it or if I'm gone, they be the, they be the asking me like, um, where were you and stuff. So I ain't want to take uh, take no chances by leaving during the weekday. So I said I would uh, leave during the weekend. Let me get this line because I don't have no energy for all this bull. Bull caca. And I'm going to go down here so I can properly do a, a, a U turn. And so basically, that day came and he was like, Leave your car. He said, No. He told me that he, we had worked that night at the club together. Okay, I was getting it all confused. We had worked that night at the club together and then we had decided. What we was going to do was, I was going to already have me a bag pack. And he was going to have him, you know, of course, his stuff, whatever. And after we left the club at 3 a.m., we was going to go straight over there. So he went ahead and gave me one of the keys. And he took the other keys because seeing that he's, of course, you know, an uh, official employee, he couldn't leave until everything was closed down. 
So I was supposed to go there first, shower up, get dressed, maybe take a nap or something like that before he got there. And this this Versa is driving so slow to the point where I have to go around them because I can't take it. So this is how I handle my road rage with you guys now because you guys be saying stuff like you're so funny and I'm like. I be dead serious. I be fucking dead serious. Let me move this uh try to do it at an angle like this. So maybe you guys was that 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 didn't help that didn't help any. I don't know if that changed anything. So yeah, he he went ahead and gave me the key. I went to the place and this is where I started to look like bitch. This was a bad idea. Because I got there, the place was it was nice, it was clean, it was cozy. Took a shower, got in the bed, was waiting on him. 3.30 go by. I'm like, I don't want to go to sleep because I don't want him to get no sleepy sex because it ain't going to be good. Then I don't want to stay up and he's still not coming, bitch. I'm tired when he get here and he still gets sleepy sex. So I was like, you know what? What I'm going to do is, okay, I don't want to get raped. I don't want this to be a setup. I don't want nobody to rob me. So... I'm just trying to stay up and I'm going to text him to see like what's going on. And as soon as I said I'm going to text him, he ended up calling me. He was like, listen, like uh, some bullshit happened at the club. A few of the customers didn't want to leave. And now that the police out here and stuff, so that's probably, you know, if you're wondering why it's taking me so long, that's what's going on. And, and I'm so happy he called me because I really was getting frustrated to the point where I was about to take my shit and go home. Cause I was coming home late anyways, like three, four o'clock in the morning anyways. So it wouldn't have been any different. My auntie was, you know, when the weekends came, she knew I wasn't gonna be home no time soon. So uh, that would have been no sweat off my back. So I was just like, okay, good thing he did call cause I really was gonna end up leaving. So he got there, I don't know what time it was. Cause by that time I had decided, you know what, let me just go to sleep because I know how these customers are. I know how long it could possibly take and if the police there, somebody's probably gonna end up getting arrested. So whatever so i end up going to sleep you guys i'm a light sleeper at times if i had like a door open or like some shit moving around you can believe i'm probably gonna wake up i'm probably just like if i don't wake up i'm probably gonna roll over and like notice it which will make me like uh, kind of wokeish so that's what happened the door ended up opening and i heard it so i turned over it's him and i'm like oh here but like, I didn't get up out of the bed but I was like oh he's here you know um he went took a shower he went and took a shower he wakes me up and y'all already know how he woke me up I was already woke I just was waiting for him to get a shower but I wasn't gonna be sitting up in the bed and creep him out when he got a shower so I was laying down still so he woke me up you know and you know we started getting it in ladies and gentlemen we've always had protect sex if you guys are wondering like this girl sound like they just having sex with well, no no we've always had protected sex we've never had unprotected sex um even in the club um so basically you know baby i'm the type of girl you better take um a mother five hour energy drink but me because when i'm woke i'm woke I'm, when i woke i'm woke <laughs> So I end up, um, you know, we ended up having sex like uh, the whole spill. It probably was going on like, yeah, he got up probably four or five in the morning. We didn't stop having sex till like eight. Like yeah, eight a.m. <laughs> Which is nothing unnormal for me. Like I'm used to that. Like I'm used to that. Like regular real sex, I'm used to it. So fast forward. When we finished, finished, like, for real, for real, like, well, he's like, you, you fucking crazy. We gotta stop, you know, whatever. Because we had never had that type of actual, real, like, intimate. It, it was always some, on some boom, boom, boom. So, I was trying to take advantage of the moment. Like, bitch, let me have my moment. So, that happened, right? What happened is, he gets a phone call. And I guess it's his cousin. And his cousin's like, bro, you said you was gonna take me to work. What the fuck? Like, it's going on 9 o'clock, and I'm about to be late to work. You know, I got to be there. Um, well, I think it's like 9, 10 o'clock, whatever. And he was like, oh, um, 
did you ask such and such to get you a ride? He was like, nah, because you told me you was going to take me today, so why am I asking somebody else? And he was like, okay, well, I'm going to come, I'm going to come drop you off, whatever, but I, I, it's going to be like 10, 15 minutes. So he hands up the phone, and I'm like, so conveniently, he just happens to call you. And I, at this point, my eyebrows are raised because, like, come on, really? We already had this day planned out, and you fucking got plans to take people to work and shit? He was like, I was pissed. And you know I was pissed, so I said it, like, conveniently, like, what the fuck is just calling you? Like, he was like, you know the whole time we was having sex, I ain't have my phone with me. So don't, don't even, like, get no notions in your head that I told him to call me. Like, I really had forgot that I told him I'd give him a ride. Like, yeah, it was a Thursday night that we stayed tonight because it was Friday that he said, he's like, I really did forget that I told him I was going to ride. Now I didn't think we was going to be having sex this whole, the whole time since I got here. Like, if I knew we was going to be having sex the whole time, like, I, I would have told his ass to get another ride. Like, you see, I asked him because he asked somebody else. Like, so now we're like, you know, ugh, get the fuck out of my face because this ain't even how it's supposed to go. And so... Fast forward, he like, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to leave. He's like, I'm going to leave some shit, whatever. So, you know I'm coming and well. I got to take my phone. So, 8 o'clock turned into 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock turned into me fucking leaving. Because we were supposed to check out at 11 anyway. So, I was going to let him check us out. Because I was going to do the slut walk back home. The fuck? I was going to get in my car and leave. So, I ended up not turning in the key. I left that bitch right there in the room. And I walked the fuck out and I went home. And I ain't, I ain't talking to him. And I was like, y'all don't understand how fucking abandoned I felt. I felt stranded. Although I was not stranded because I had a car. I felt fucking stranded because I felt played. I felt played for real. I'm like, okay, we've been rocking with each other for like three, four months now. And this what you pulled. Like you said, it was going to be 15 minutes. But then I turned into three hours of me in the room again by myself. Like, and if y'all real OG, OG, like, subscriber who been following me since I was only getting, like, 25 views, I made a story time about how I snuck out the house, <laughs> how I snuck out the house this same fucking summer. This fucking summer was terrible. Was it the same summer or the summer before? I ain't had no car yet. So, the summer before, I snuck out the house to stay the night with a dude. And I thought we were staying night at his mama house. And we ended up staying night at a hotel. And But basically, I felt like a fucking rerun. The next summer, the same fucking shit happened again. So I'm like, oh my fucking God. If, side note, this is why I personally don't like when guys say, oh, we can get a hotel room. If we're not going out of the state, if we're not going upstate, if we're not going out of the country, I don't like to stay the night in hotel rooms. I don't give a fuck how long we know each other. I don't care how much I love you. I just, it just, now hotel rooms have rubbed me the wrong way and I can't fucking do it. So, boom, uh, later on that day, he blowing my phone up. And I'm like, I'm so fucking pissed off at him that I don't want to answer. But I answer because I'm like, I need fucking answers. Like, what the fuck? The first thing he doing, he's apologizing. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. That you don't understand what happened. Like, when I dropped him off, my phone was ringing, ringing, ringing. My baby mama kept calling me like, where the fuck you at? You supposed to have picked up our daughter. And she, I had forgot about her. She was like, going off, telling me like, you know, at 9 o'clock, you supposed to come get her. So I can go ahead and go to work. And you didn't come get her. He's like, so when I dropped him off, then I had to get my daughter. And I had nobody to watch my daughter. So I can come back to see you. So I had to stay with her. And then I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And I was, gonna, I was trying to ask my cousin, can he just, you know, watch it so I can at least go back and, you know, get my stuff and talk to you and, uh, like, get you to understand, like, what the fuck was going on. I ain't want you to feel like I just up and left you. But at this point, it's like, I don't want to hear none of that because do I even believe you? Like, is it even... Sorry, y'all. Is it even fucking factual what you're saying to me? Like, are you just pulling some shit out your ass? Are you? Because that's how I felt. I felt so played, y'all. My feelings were so hurt to the point that I didn't even talk to him. Like, I avoided going to the club or working, like, working a shift that I know he was working because I just did not want to see his face. I had, I didn't want nothing to do with him. I didn't want him to see me. I didn't want him to look at me. I just, I was so pissed off at him because I felt played. 
like it's not to the point like because i didn't understand it because we had already had sex like at least 30 times before we had had actual real intimate sex like so that's why i was so confused like because if you wanted a quickie you know we we always get down in the hotel i mean we always get down in the, room, in the car so you suggested you know us formally doing it the proper way so you could treat me right you know so all of this just threw me off and i just felt so discombobulated my mind was in so many different areas like so long story short i was like yeah he fucking played me like i was pissed off at him kind of distanced myself from him since then i hadn't really fucked with him heavy like i was usually fucking with him and um i started fucking with some other cats i started um hanging out with some other dudes and uh, a few of my my um regulars turn into basically my tricks or aka my sugar daddies but i've talked about one of them on my story my um channel before so i'm not even gonna go into details but i had ended up meeting me and this one guy i don't know if i mentioned him on my channel or not i ended up talking to this one guy uh he had gotten a motorcycle accident i had met him one night this was my like 500 600 night and um normally i can make like 300 dollars at that club easily about two three hundred dollars easily this, you know, he had came and I ended up making like five hundred dollars just off of him. He gave me his number. We end up start hanging out. He's taking me out to eat and stuff like that all the time and all that good stuff, all that nice stuff. And basically, I just distanced myself from him once I met him. And after I met the guy in the motorcycle accident, I ended up meeting another customer that I've talked about before as well. Uh, this is the one that I think is on my story. I told you guys he's like a pair of I used He he uh, has a uh, the humpback. I don't know the, the legal term for that. It was like a chronic scoliosis or something. I'm probably saying that all terribly wrong. But him and I ended up um, meeting him in the club and he found that I was talking to him outside of the club and he felt some type of way and he was like saying all type of stuff. Oh yeah, it's been I get caught talking to him. And, oh yeah, you fucking with that, that uh, ugly ass short nigga. Because you know he's short because he has a hump in his back and oh you Man, I get yourself fucked over fucking with these customers outside the club. Like, he had a little attitude now, but at this point, bitch, fuck you, because now I feel blatant. So, what the fuck you worry about if I do fuck with the customer outside the club, anyways? Like, you taught me the game. You taught me how to talk to these people and not get caught. You taught me how to make a customer a regular. So, what you mad for, nigga? I'm just taking what you taught me and I'm using it. Period. So, that's when the, the, the relationship kind of turned sour after we had the hotel room because it i felt play i felt so played guys and so basically that was one situation where we was uh getting in but it really only got worse from there and from worse it went back better but that was like <laughs> just that that was just at the end of last year so that's what i'm gonna leave it at right now because i am almost to work and I hate pulling up in the driveway, the parking lot, whatever you want to call it. You need to even see me on my phone and stuff. Because I bitches be all up in my car. So basically, that's it, guys. And so the next time, we're going to talk about uh, how his daddy caught us having sex in his front yard. <laughs> we is off the fucking chain. When I tell y'all, me and him used to have sex anywhere we could. Uh, I'm going to either talk about that. Or I'm going to actually talk about how we uh, had sex at a radio station. Yeah, it was a radio station. At a radio station. So that's next. Tell my story. Um, until next time, Jules and Gems. Peace. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> I love you.